The Diary of Hum and Buzz by Cherylan Webster. On May 28th, we noticed a tiny hummingbird nest and mum sitting comfortably. On the 29th, we had all the cameras ready and as soon as mum went off to find some food, we had a little peek, delighted to see these two little fellas. It wasn't long before mum was back on the nest and day after day, she kept an eye on us. We used long lenses and kept our distance. There was a storm on June 12th, so we went back to just check on the two little eggs to see how things were going. At first we were horrified to see no mum, but then on closer inspection, we discovered hum and buzz, two little pickles. It was incredible to see hum and buzz grow so fast. It had only been three weeks since we first discovered the nest and the eggs. And here were hum and buzz growing rapidly day by day to the point where there was no more room in the nest by June 19th. Their bodies and their heads and beaks were way above the edge of the nest. Mum couldn't even nestle down on top. She would just fly in with food, feed them and fly away again. We noticed that the edge of the nest was starting to open up. So we set up the video camera to see just what was going on. While mum may have built this nest, but it was hum and buzz that were renovating it to make sure it fit. Here you can see Buzz wiggle around and as she does, she expands the edge of the weave. They've got a little bulge above their beak. I felt it was where the rest of the beak was hiding, but who only knows? Their eyes are still closed, but Hum is already stretching his wings. Maybe just to expand the nest, or maybe he's eager to grow up and take flight. I'm so excited. Hum opened his eyes and we looked at each other. He wasn't too horrified. So I stuck around, so did he. June 26, and you can see a big difference now between Hum and Buzz. Hum is the much bigger bird, more green, and his eyes are always open, not missing a thing. Hum is growing by leaps and bounds, with Buzz just a little bit behind. Hum always seems to be sitting in front of Buzz and keeping a close eye on where we are with the cameras. You can also see they've expanded the nest to be more of a dish shape than a nice round bowl. It has been such a delight to watch Hum and Buzz grow and see Mum do such an exceptional job. But we knew the day would come where it was time for them to stretch their wings and take flight. It was July 5th. We weren't there to see Hum take his first flight. But my mother-in-law was and she said it went very, very well. We did get back in time to watch Buzz. I was a little concerned because by the time she was ready, the skies were orange, not from the sunset, but from the smoke and the forest fires that filled the air in BC. However, she managed to do just fine. She lifted those wings, took flight, and, well, at first landed on the trunk of a tree and wondered whether she should be a woodpecker rather than a hummingbird. But after a brief moment, she caught her breath, took flight again, landed on a branch, sat up proud, and announced she was a hummingbird. This has been the Diary of Hum and Buzz. Photography, video, and narration by Cheryl Ann Webster. Oops, with the support of her loving husband and some of his video footage, Ian Webster. It's time to be inspired and inspire others. CherylAnnWebster.com